Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Happy Wednesday morning to you. Good afternoon, if you're watching this later in the day. I have a lot of big updates this morning. Matter of fact, as of that update last night, I felt like I should update y'all on the next runs so we can see what's going on. Now, I'm showing as of early this morning, not only is Henri have a chance to become a hurricane towards the Northeast and the New England states now, Grace is weakening. Grace is getting some dry air, and it will be weakening. Steering currents is bringing it right into this big high pressure of dry air, and it will be weakening. Plus, I'm still showing that that next big wave is still coming, and it's still going in the Gulf. Matter of fact, it's showing this morning that its friend has a good chance to go over by the Bahamas and become a serious storm right off the coast of North Carolina and Virginia. If you're loving these tropical updates, hit that like button, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. God bless every single one of you. <laughs> the greatest people I've ever been with. And if you've never been here before, hello. <laughs> My name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not on Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. It's just Sabbath. But we'll make sure you're covered. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year around. Matter of fact, every afternoon I always do a tropical update during hurricane season. And remember, I always put the links in the description to save you time. I know we're all busy these days. God bless you. Hope you have a great day. All I ask is if you use social media, just share the video, help others that are impacted by this weather. And if you don't use social media, just hit the like button. That does a lot of support and YouTube will suggest it for you. Thank you so much. Now, as we look at Tropical Storm Grace real quick, you can see it is headed away from Jamaica, going towards Caymans and the Yucatan. But this right here is your dry air. And you can see that the big high pressure of dust is still moving in, still blocking the Gulf of Mexico. And it is starting to get wrap around and get around the backside around the south of this storm. And you can see it's starting to come in and weaken the storms a little bit on the south side. And it's trying to get all the way around, but it is getting in there. And this is the NASA satellite. And if you look at this, you can see that it starts to get a closed low. And right when it starts to strengthen, this dry air coming out right here is going to start coming and wrapping around the, the storm around the south side. It breaks up the closed low and it starts weakening it down. So that's good news for Yucatan because it was showing pretty strong hurricane strength. Some of it up to 80 and 85 miles per hour uh, sustained winds. But it does try and close up right again before Yucatan, before it comes over Yucatan. But it will stay weak until it gets away from this high pressure. And you can see right there, it still has a closed low. As it gets off Yucatan, it starts to wrap around a little bit again in the storm. Keeps it weak for a little bit. But then it gets away from this dry air at the very last second and tries to tighten up and become something. It's a little bit too late at that point. It does get powerful according to some models. I mean, that center got pretty small and pretty tight. But a lot of them are showing that it's going to be either a tropical storm. It could be a Cat 1 hurricane. Cat 2 is kind of pretty much off the table is what it seems like. Now, as you look at Honoré right here, starting to tighten up. This is where he tries to get into a hurricane, but you have this big plume of dust, which is a big high pressure, coming in, and it's kind of squeezing a little more northern than what it was showing two days ago, and it kind of brings it a little tight towards the coast. Now, this is your relative humidity. It's letting you know where all the dry air is going and where the, all the moisture is going, and you can see the dry air starting to wrap around this storm. It's grace. And as you go into 7 o'clock this morning, because that was early this morning, you see it starting to get into grace. And then it really wraps around it right before landfall, weakens it down, plus landfall. So it would be a tropical storm. Yet it's not fully all the way around. So it keeps its strength somewhat, rolls around, tries to get around it. It has its chance to strengthen at this point. And so far, the GFS sees it getting all the way down to a 977. The euro brings it down to about a 991, 995. And if you look at the 200 millibar winds, you see that the steering winds at 200 millibar level. Here's your storm grace. Here's your big high pressure coming in and your winds are pushing it to the west. And as it gets in there, it starts pushing it towards the high pressure. So this high pressure is, is stretching out way over the Yucatan. And that's what weakens it down and runs it right into the Yucatan as a weaker storm because the high pressure stays with it. At this point, your steering currents are going all the way around to northern Mexico. So this storm could not pass this point. So it's either from here to here on a quick twirl. But as you go through, you can see that get the steering currents pushes it into the Bay of Campeche and it gets away from that high pressure. Once it gets away from that high pressure, the steering currents are pushing it in this 
area. But it gets a chance to intensify since it's away from that high pressure and it goes right to where the steering and currents bring it. Now those that have never been here before, this is your velocity potential anomaly. This lets you know when you get some updraft, some rising air, and our country is always 120W for the west coast, 60W for the east coast, and you can kind of see where the Caribbean and, and the Gulf of Mexico is. 60W and on is the MDR, the main development region. This one's from the GFS, and according to the GFS, that on the 25th, we're going to have anomaly coming, a pretty big anomaly, and it's gotten stronger. And it's going to last all the way to the beginning of the month. Towards the end of August, beginning of the month, we got something big coming. This is the same thing, but it's the Euro version. And they're showing that from the 23rd, 22nd, 23rd, all the way down to the 25th or 26th, like it comes a little sooner, we got a big strong anomaly coming, as well as one coming behind it that's going to be in the Eastern Caribbean, and one coming off the MDR at the same time we're getting this one. Now for today, your tornado threat has increased. It was just a 2% as of last night, but now it's gained a 5% area right here. And the 5% area is Baltimore, Maryland, Washington, D.C., Arlington, Virginia, Alexandria, Virginia, and Columbia, Maryland. And you can see your 2% area. Remember, I always post updates on my community tab throughout the day. So when 8 o'clock comes out, I will post it as well as the 2 o'clock, and then the update will come after that. So Tropical Storm Grace is moving 14 miles per hour to the west and 60 miles per hour winds. I saw 40 miles per hour winds for the Cayman Islands and 60 miles per hour wind gust. So we'll see how much it weakens down. Tropical Storm Henry is moving west southwest at 6 miles per hour and it has 65 miles per hour winds. And Tropical Depression Fred is moving north northeast at 22 miles per hour. So it's still moving pretty quick. It has 30 miles per hour winds with it. And this is Tropical Depression Fred. Uh, this is your satellite view of everything coming on. There will be a lot of rain bands. That's what you need to worry about as your evening goes along for the tornadoes. At the end of the video, I will run high resolution rapid refresh for you so you can see and, and know what to expect. Maybe get a timing on these possible tornadoes today. But so far, according to the NAM 3K, the amount of rainfall you're going to get from Fred. This is Ohio, and you can see it does get up to Parkersville. Then it goes up to Ohio by Canton, getting a little bit of the heaviest, uh, over three inches. It don't get quite towards Cleveland, Youngstown a little over an inch, uh, Pittsburgh a little over an inch, Pennsylvania, and Meadville, Pennsylvania, a little over an inch. St. Mary's, Pennsylvania shows a little over three inches. State College, a little over two inches, and Altoona, a little over two inches. And this is within the next 24-hour period, so it's not like what you had so far. This is three inches more. And for New York, it looks like it's still going to be Syracuse getting over two more inches of rainfall, Utica getting a little over an inch. And here's Tropical Storm Henry. He's tightening up, looking good and healthy, and he is moving to the west-southwest, so we'll see what comes out of him. So far, the winds, according to NOAA, shows that you won't be in much winds at all. For Bermuda, you might get 10%. As well as the coast of North Carolina, Delaware, Maryland, even the coast of Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, and Maine. You all got about a 10% chance, 20 tops. Now, NOAA has it updated to become a hurricane. And as it goes by, it shows it a little more eastern. But still, the cone is all the way possible here and all the way possible here. And this morning, we're showing here. The updated track show that it'll finish doing this little winding turn and be going on that straightaway in four days. So hopefully it changes a little bit, but it shows that within four days, it does get shoved west, according to the AVNI, that's what GFS is agreeing with this morning, and five days be right off the coast of the New England states. And the intensity guidance shows that it could get all the way up, most likely to a high-end category one hurricane. Some show a two, a three, there's even a four out there. But in five days, when it's supposed to be by the New England states, it'll be coming on a weak phase, coming down from Cat 1, potentially a tropical storm. But it is showing it could be around a Cat 1 hurricane area, if it was still staying on track towards New England states. And as of this morning, it shows it does strengthen all the way to a 967 hurricane. And it does get on the weakening phase as you get towards the five days. And it goes from a 977 down to a 981 hurricane. And we have Tropical Storm Grace. It got beat up by Jamaica. Jamaica taught them a pretty good lesson. They got a lot of winds and rainfall for Jamaica, but at the same time, they really hurt that storm. So good job, Jamaica. 
And as it heads towards the Cayman Islands, it's going to be about 40 miles per hour winds, 60 miles per hour wind gusts is what I found. And it's going to start weakening because of that dry air starting to get into the south side of the storm. However, NOAA still has a hurricane watch for the Cayman Islands, and they still have it as a hurricane going towards the Yucatan with a hurricane warning still. Tropical storm force warnings in the blue areas and tropical storm watch on the yellow side. Now, it shows that it will eventually weaken down to a tropical storm as it comes off Yucatan, but it does show it will hit Yucatan as a hurricane. I'm thinking that these two are going to be switched. I think they're going to update this to a tropical storm because it's going to get weakened by the dry air. And this is going to be a hurricane as it leaves off the Yucatan. And the latest intensity guidance brings it 24 hours. Could be a Cat 1 hurricane. Most of the models are showing that it will just be a tropical storm. But after it goes on land and it gets off land and strengthens back up, most of the models show it will be a, tro a strong tropical storm to on the edge of a hurricane. A few of them are showing it can get to a strong Cat 1 hurricane, even a possibility for a Cat 2. In 24 hours, it's going to be right there in front of Yucatan. So, tropical storm versus hurricane, that, that's going to make a big difference as far as onshore flooding, all the storm surge, because it is going counterclockwise and throwing all this on land. 48 hours is going to be off of Yucatan, and we'll know about the strengthening from there. Now, it's not showing a crazy 922 like it did the other day, but the H Wharf is still showing a 954 major hurricane for Mexico, still. Now, when we look for this updraft, this potential velocity anomaly, according to GFS and Euro, it's right around the 26th towards the end of the month. And I'm still showing for days in a row now that right around the 26th that we will have this anomaly coming Western Caribbean and getting into our Gulf, as well as a sneaky deaky one that's going to pop up over here and be a potential problem for the East Coast. And he still has his friend coming behind him. So as you get a little bit closer and you see exactly what's going to happen, you can watch both of them, they both of them at the same time coming up, and we could have two storms at one time, one off the East Coast and one getting in the Gulf. And the one getting in the Gulf is showing a little bit more of an Eastern path. Instead of showing it for Texas and Louisiana, it's a little bit more Eastern after about three days and as you keep going on the 28th it goes up the deep south gets over with a lot of heavier rainfall then as you go into the 30th and 31st his friend still comes up still makes his way towards the caribbean towards the first of the month now passing by lower jamaica and still going to the western caribbean this same data has been showing for a while that's why i wanted to update you and bringing it back all the way to the 26th when we first started talking about it, the sneaky deaky one. It has a good potential to go up towards the east coast and be a potential problem off the coast right there. Before the high pressure of the cold air takes it away. So, so far it shows it can come up, stay for a minute, and leave. And as of what we have right now, that would put a 995 tropical storm on Louisiana and it would put a weaker tropical storm off the coast of North Carolina. And as you move forward, you can see it stays there and twirls, gets to a strong hurricane, 987, and then it moves out. As the one that was in the Gulf is still a tropical storm to a weaker tropical storm, maybe tropical depression, as it goes through Ohio Valley and goes out. The second one that comes right behind him still strengthens up so far to a tropical storm. We'll see it, it strengthens pretty fast. It goes all the way from at 1,005, and within 30 hours, it gets down to a tropical storm headed for Western Caribbean. All right, now I'm gonna play this. I had to do it for the next 36 hours. That way you can see the full track of Tropical Depression Fred as it brings all the severe weather to y'all, because y'all have this chance for this tornado threat, and it does ramp up when it starts getting towards Pennsylvania. Time and date is on top left. I did put it on pretty slow, so you can try and get a good timing on what's going to happen today. God bless all of you. Hope you will be okay through this. If you've never been here before, this is a favorite part of my channel, at least according to me. Uh, this is where I preach the word of God. Amen. Every morning, we should start our day talking to our Father, for He controls whether we have a blessed day or not. And what I'm reading this morning is something I really want to talk to you guys about. And it is Psalm 55. 
Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me, and hear me. I mourn in my complaint, and make a noise. Because of the voice of the enemy, because of the oppression of the wicked, for they cast iniquity upon me, and in wrath they hate me. My heart is sore pain within me, and the terrors of death are fallen upon me. Fearfulness and trembling are come upon me, and horror hath overwhelmed me. And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Destroy, O Lord, and divide their tongues. For I have seen violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go about it upon the walls thereof. Mischief also and sorrow are in the midst of it. Wickedness is in the midst thereof. Deceit and guile depart not from her streets. For it was not an enemy that reproached me. Then, then I could have borne it. Neither was it he that hated me that did magnify himself against me. Then I would have hid myself from him. But it was thou, a man mine equal, my guide, and mine acquaintance. We took sweet counsel together, and we walked unto the house of God in company. Let death seize upon them, and let them go down quickly into hell. For wickedness is in their dwelling and among them. As for me, I will call upon God, and the Lord shall save me. Evening and morning and at noon will I pray and cry aloud, and he shall hear my voice. He hath delivered my soul in peace from the battle that was against me, for there were many with me. God shall hear and afflict them, even he that abideth of old. Selah. Because they have no changes, therefore they fear not God. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He hath broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But I will trust in thee. Amen. Thank you again, y'all, for visiting me this morning. I hope you have a great day. Really wanted to give y'all an update on that storm. I'm still showing it's coming. Tell me what you think. I appreciate every single one of you. God bless every single one of you. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob, the Almighty, Father of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your Father. My father. And he's coming back. Amen. Hallelujah, guys. Have a great day out there. Stay positive and positive things happen. I'll see you for the update.